Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Curt Trailer Safety Chain Holder Bracket. So this is what our safety chain holder bracket looks like installed. Now everything is going to be made of steel and it has that yellow zinc plated finish which is going to do a great job of helping protect everything from rust and corrosion being that it is installed on the outside of the vehicle. So this kit is pretty simple. It's composed of a few components. We have the main U-shaped bracket here, which simply sits on top of the shank for the ball mount. Then we have a set of ears on the bottom that accepts a cross bolt. And then attached to that cross bolt, we have these little U-shaped chain holders. So it's a pretty simple design, very easy to install, and it works well. So there's gonna be a lot of times when you're towing a particular trailer the safety chains are a little bit longer than some other ones and you have a lot of extra slack. Pretty much every trailer I've ever, couple, ever coupled up to is going to have quite a bit of slack here for the safety chains. Therefore, we end up looping them over one after another time and time and time again until we can get rid of as much slack as possible. But sometimes that's not enough and our safety chains are still dragging on the ground, kicking up sparks as well as dirt and debris at our trailer. That's certainly not ideal if we have a nice trailer we want to keep cake, we want to take care of. It's also going to damage our safety chains by wearing them down quicker. So with the safety chain holders here, this product is going to allow us to get rid of some of that extra slack there without having to loop our chains over one another near as many times. It's going to help us remain safe on the road and keep everything looking nice, new and working properly. So in regards to compatibility, we'll get into it a little bit more later in the video. But one thing I do want to point out is this is going to be designed for two inch trailer hitches, which is what we have it installed on here. If you have a larger two and a half inch shank, this is unfortunately not going to work for you. But as you can see here on this truck, we actually do have a two and a half inch hitch receiver and we're using a reducer, the factory reducer that comes with and a two inch shank for our ball mount. Therefore, it's going to allow us to utilize the safety chain holder bracket. So the U shaped hooks here on the side of our bracket. We'll just simply place one of the links through our chains through that hook there. It's nice and simple. They're not going to fly off. They're not going to fly off on us here. We can use any of these chain links we like in order to reduce or increase the slack here. One thing I do want to point out is you do want to make sure that you're in the same chain on each side. That way one side of our chain isn't lower than the other. But aside from that, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You guys really can't mess this one out. It is something you guys maybe overthink, but I will say after using this for a little bit, I definitely do like this. It's simple, easy to install, and it's something that we didn't necessarily know that we needed until we started using it. It's a great product here, and I'm glad Kurt came out with this. So the first step of our installation, we need to come to our ball mount that we're gonna be using. And what we need to do is, in order to ensure compatibility, is we need to measure the distance from the end of the receiver tube to the start of the back of the vertical portion. And the reason we need to do that is we need to have one and one inches of space in this location in order for the collar for our kit here to properly fit over the ball mount. So you do want to go ahead and measure beforehand and make sure this is going to work for you. We do have longer ball mount options if that's something you're interested in. But assuming we do have the required space, we're simply going to take our collar here with the opening facing down and place it over the ball mount just like so. So once we have the collar installed, we're gonna take our hex bolt here, along with one of our safety chain keepers. We're going to place the hex bolt through the eye in the keeper, just like so, and then through the bottom of the hole in our bracket. Now we'll come to the other side here, install our other safety chain keeper. Now you'll notice that the opening of the U portion is facing out away from the ball mount. Then we'll place our nylock nut here and just thread it over our hex bolt. We'll get it hand tight for now. Then we'll come back with our tools and tighten and torque it to the specifications in your instructions. So we're gonna need a 9 16 inch socket and ratchet and a 9 16 inch wrench in order to be able to tighten this down. And then once we do have it torqued to spec here, what you're gonna do is, more than likely you're gonna have to rotate these safety chain keepers down, pointed towards the ground because they do rotate a little bit during tightening. But that's pretty much it for our installation. 
And now we're ready to take off down the road. So we'll hook up our safety chains, place one of the links through the J-hook, and just repeat that same process on the other side. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Kurt safety chain holder bracket.